Dhamma Sangha Dhamma Namo Buddhaya. Good morning to everyone. I hope you, are, you all are doing great. And in this video, I will share one of the another story. The story name of the story is Sujata Jataka. When Buddha was residing in Jetavana, Buddha told this story about Queen Malika. Queen Malika and King Pasinadi had quarrel between them, and the king was very angry and very upset, very unpleased with the queen. And he remained silent without talking to her for a long time. And Buddha knows about it. And Buddha thought one day, I should go and settle their quarrel. Then uh, early morning, along with 500 monks, Buddha went to the where the King Pasinari was living. And when King Pasinari saw that Buddha and his disciples were coming for arms round. He came out and took bowl from the Buddha and he invited all the Eko Sangha along with Buddha to the dining hall. And they sat down and uh, King Pasinari had many servants. Along with servants, he decided to offer to the Buddha and Eko Sangha without calling his wife because he was very upset with his wife queen and he, he was just about to serve to the Buddha and Buddha noticed and Buddha stopped him. A king, where is queen? What happened to her? And with upset, king replied, what to do with the queen whenever serve? And again the king said, queen become very pride with her honor that she enjoys. King thought queen became very arrogant and that's why they had a quarrel and uh, they were not talking to each other for a long time. Then Buddha gave him advice. Buddha told him that King, see you only the you yourself bestowed her honor and gave her chance to become queen. So it is not right. So it is wrong to be upset that she gets honor. And instead of that, you should calm your anger and forgive her small mistake. After Buddha gave advice, then king understood Buddha's word, what Buddha wanted to advise him. Finally, he called the queen to serve to the Buddha and the Sangha and they came and the both queen and uh, king served to the Buddha. After having meal, the Buddha Again, it is good to live together, husband and wife, in peacefully and harmoniously. After having received advice, valuable advice from the Buddha, the king and queen from that day onwards, they never quarreled and they lived peacefully and harmoniously together. After that, Buddha and monks went back to the monastery. And then after some time, Bhikkhu were gathered and they were discussing about how Buddha could Settle their quarrel just within with few words. Is it possible? Then in, in that time, Buddha entered to the Dhamma hall, and Buddha asked, "What bhikkhus you were discussing about?" Then they told what they were discussing. Then Buddha told to the bhikkhus, "It is not past time. I have settled the quarrels even before, also." And then bhikkhus requested to Buddha to tell the past stories. Then Buddha said. When the long ago, when the Brahmadatta was residing in Banarasi, in that time, a Bodhisattva was born as, a, as his chief advisor. One day, king was sitting nearby the window and seeing the cartridge. And that time, a beautiful lady was passing by, carrying a basket of full of fruits, uh, just calling to the people that delicious fruits, sea fruits. Whoever want to buy, please come and purchase from me. Likewise, she was selling and passing by. And she was not daring to see to the palace. And then when the king noticed that beautiful girl, he sent some of the soldiers to go to her and, and let me know. And then king sent some of his soldiers to, found, to find who was she. The report was given. Her name was... Sujata and she was the daughter of fruit seller and also she was reported that she still not married yet and then king decided to marry with her and after some day after some few days later king called to the 
to that beautiful lady and they made celebration for the grand wedding king bestowed her great honor gave her queen chief queen position after some day some time the some days what happened and then when one evening king was eating some dates in his uh, golden plate queen suddenly entered to his room and she was just simply asking dear majesty what are you eating and it looks so delicious and she took one dates ate it and then she asked again what is the fruit of this name i wonder where it grows by saying these few words king became very aggressive very angry and he started shouting to the queen how dare you to ask me this question are you just making fun of me you don't know the name of this fruit before becoming queen you were fruit seller and you were selling this fruit and now you are asking me the name of this fruit really you don't know this name fruit and he was very upset very angry and he decided to withdraw her from the queen chief queen position and what was happening around the chief advisor was hearing all these things and he decided okay i should go and advise to my i must go to the king and settle this quarrel before queen leaves the palace the advisor humbly softly told to the king that your majesty it was you who transferred this woman from seller into queen you all given everything love care and respect so you must take responsible for what you have taken on her what you have said and please give up your anger it is not good for you and queen also and please forgive her for her just simple mistake then after that king understood and he recall the queen again asked forgiveness for his misbehaved the king and what he has shouted and he has used for harsh words after that they both forgive to each other and on that onwards they both live happily and peacefully at the end of the story the buddha said king brahmadutta was the king pasinadi and queen malika was the sujata and i was the chief advisor of the king brahmadatta by the end of the story and what we can learn from this story is that in a family it is common to have issues and problem and quarrel among wife and husband and it is always better to forgive each other and have a good relation have a good understanding when forgive each other when one makes any mistake so it is very helpful by doing so by forgiving each other by understanding each other small common mistakes we can live peacefully and harmoniously thank you very much i hope you all understood this and the lesson from this story thank you very much for watching may you all be happy and well bhavatu sabha mangalam